Horse racing, kids signing on handicap racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Saturday, August 27, 2011. The feature race on handicap is race number 12. Uh, and the 12th race is the 142nd running of the Traverse Stakes. Very, very great race up from Saratoga. I have my Traverse program ready. So, yeah. Um, uh, we do have a field of 10 going to the field uh, today here at the Traverse. It's going to rain later. It's uh, 12.30 uh, Saturday morning. Uh, and it should be raining a little later. So, that's how I bet my race is towards the rain. Uh, let's m meet the field. Number one, Bowman's Causeway. Ramon Dominguez is 12 to 1. Number two, Rattlesnake Bridge. John Velasquez at 8 to 1. Number three, Moonshine Mellon. Emma Jane Wilson at 20 to 1. Number four, Ruler on Ice. Jose Valdivia Jr., 6 to 1. Number five, Malby Glow. Rajiv Morag at 20 to 1. Number six, Razine Adept. Eddie Castro, 10 to 1. Seven, Coyle Martin Garcia, 3 to 1. Number eight, JW Blue. Cornelio Velasquez, 21. Number 9, Stay Thirsty, 5 to 2. Javier Castellano. And number 10, Shackleford. He just cast on 9 to 2. Uh, going a mile and a quarter here at Saratoga. And this race is a very interesting race here. It could be wide open. Um, and I'll be going with the 2 4 9 here. I bet this race toward going towards a uh, tur going towards excuse me going towards a sloppy course. What I expect it will be sloppy because I checked the on the weather maps for Saratoga. It's, it's supposed to rain about three o'clock. That's what I have. Uh, number two, Rattlesnake Bridge, eight to one. John Velasquez. Last time after on July the 9th at Monmouth Park, Mile 16th and Long Branch Stakes for $165,000. One by nose that uh, was the a heavy favorite that day. He stumbled at the break four wide and was at the court pose up. Then on the mud at Belmont on the muddy but sealed surface on July on June the 11th in a launch race, 63,000. Came second by three and a quarter lengths. He's four wide into the lane and rallied. And then Aqueduct on the slop in Jerome Mile on April 23rd. Came first, fourth by three and a half lengths. He's through wide turn and had no bids. So I do like this horse here. This horse did come second to uh, Uncle Mo and Timely Riders at a mile. So going with this one. And I'll be also going with the four here, Ruler on the Ice. Six to one, Jose Valvivia. Last time out to run at on. At um, excuse me, at uh, Mammoth Park, Mile Nathan Haskell Invitational on July the 31st, came third by two and three quarter lengths. The first three finishers are running in this race. Uh, he had a good finish that day. It was on the rail. I think if he he was very he was uh flying on the outs on the inside. Excuse me, and uh, I remember watching the replay again and saying uh this horse could win here. So mile and a quarter might be help to him. Then the mile and a half at on the slop at June the 11th at Bel Belmont, Belmont 6, one by three quarters in length at 24 to 1. He's a four wide bid and at the quarter pole was driving. Pimlico mile 16th in the Puerto Rico Tessio. Came second by two lengths. He was wide for at the quarter pole and closed gap. And then Sunland mile and then Sunland Derby came third by one and a half lengths. He's five wide, quarter pole closed late. So he's been closing late at all these mile and eighth races. He he is winning here. I can tell you this right now. And he loves to slop. So when it rains, it's going to rain later. So the slop helps him. He's two for two over the slop. One six for long race in his two year old campaign one. That was actually his main win. So I do like this horse here. I'll be also going with the nine. Stay thirsty. Five two. Javier Castellano, last time out from Saratoga on a fast going mile in 8th and July 30th, and Jim Dandy came for first by four lengths. He three wide, ran second that day, uh, second, and drew clear. Then a Belmont mile and a half on the slap on June the 11th, and a Belmont stakes came second behind Ruler on the ice. He's to the rail, Corpolo, and was very willingly, and then a 12th in the Kentucky Derby. Uh, uh, he brushed at uh, start rail weakened. I do like this horse here. Never ran on a, only ran once on a wet surf, twice on a wet surface. Both came second. But this horse, it's very interesting. This horse, um, I thought for since about March, I thought this horse maybe a miler. Prop not a maybe a mile sixteenth, but not going a mile and a quarter. But didn't handle the mile and a half more than I expected him to do. Um, I think he could win here, or he could come in third. 
I don't have them to set place. I'm not sure if you could do that. So I'm going to go with this one. So I kept my bets race number 12 from uh, Saratoga the Travers going 2.9. And so it's the Horse Racing Kid sign off. And I'm going to go luck to one. Go to horseracingkid.com.